Hi everybody! Peace and love! This is Cassandra and I'm back with another video and this is such a wonderful recipe. I'm so excited to show you guys and gals. This is a recipe for hummingbirds. My daughter is wanting to get a hummingbird nectar tomorrow. She and I are going to go be buying some stuff for her beautiful balcony that she has. Um, she's got a, a glorious balcony at, in her uh, beautiful apartment home. And um, she wants to get a hummingbird feeder. And she was asking me, you know, Mom, how do you make the hummingbird nectar? I don't want to buy it. I want to make it. And I gave her the recipe, so I thought I would surprise her and make her some today. So, and we can go ahead. It, it'll already be ready. It'll be cold. It'll be prepared. And we can just go ahead and put it in her hummingbird feeder so she can sit out there and enjoy watching the hummingbirds. And it's very simple. This recipe is the closest to the nectar that the flowers give. And it's so good for the hummingbirds, and they absolutely love it. You're going to take four cups of boiling hot water. Now, what I did is I simply took a large stock pot, I filled it full of tap water, and I boiled it for 30 minutes. Thus, on the molecular level, it is the same as distilled water. So I boiled it for 30 minutes. I measured out four cups precisely. And to that, we're only going to add one cup of white granulated sugar. You're just gonna put it all around the bowl. And we want that to dissolve completely. So you're just gonna take a spoon and you're just gonna keep stirring until you no longer fill the granules, granules with the spoon. Do not give this to the hummingbirds when it's hot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this for my daughter. I'm going to put it in this big mason jar that I actually just cleaned out and rinsed out. I'm going to set it in the refrigerator and let it sit overnight. And I'm telling you, <laughs> I've tasted this hummingbird nectar before and it's actually quite good. <laughs> but you must keep stirring. See, I can still see granules. See those granules? That's, that's not dissolved. You must keep stirring until the granules have dissolved within the water. So the ratio for this is four to one. Four parts water, one part sugar. So if you want to make a larger batch, let's say you want to do eight cups of distilled water, then you would use two cups of sugar. It's a four to one ratio. My granules are just about dissolved. Well, there's a few. You can see them on my spoon. And this is the closest to what um, the flowers give in, uh, of their nectar. And the hummingbirds love it. Now, don't add any dye to this. You don't have to. And honestly, the hummingbirds prefer it non-dyed. And it actually looks a lot better in the uh, hummingbird feeders. It just looks so refreshing. And it's just, it's really good. So... Um, now, this is not how you make simple syrup. Simple syrup for cakes and pastries is a one-to-one -one ratio, a one-part water, one-part sugar. But I actually kind of like the hummingbird nectar. It's, it's really good. All right, I do not see or feel any more granules. So I just want to make sure that that's dissolved really good. So I'm going to get my crusty spatula here and just go around it. Oh, yeah. Everything is really good and dissolved. Now, this is really hot, so I'm going to have to be careful. So what I think I'm going to do is just grab my Pyrex here. This is really hot. And I'm going to pour some in here a little at a time. And I've got some really wonderful videos that I'm excited about sharing with you. Some are just a little bit different than what you're used to. I can't wait to share my life with y'all. I've got some things that I want to talk to you about. I want to tell you about. I want you to get to know me a little bit more. 
And I'm pretty excited about that. Tomorrow, our my daughter is going to be joining us. And I'm always excited when she comes on my YouTube channel. She's such a fun person. She's such a delight. She's just awesome. So, all you have to do, you know what? You know what I think I'm going to do, guys? Stay with me for just a few more minutes. This is a three-cup measuring cup. So, I think I'm just going to make another batch and get this kind of full for her. So, there's three cups. And I know where the one cup's at. Actually, if I want to get really precise, here's what I'm going to do. That's the same pot that I boiled it in previously. This is a one cup, so I, I got it right on the money. Perfect. There's four cups. Let me grab some sugar. I'll be right back. hot. It just got done boiling for 30 minutes, so that's to be expected. My countertops have been sterilized, so I don't have to worry about uh, my utensils and dishes if I reuse them, even though they've been laying on the counter. Just bear with me just a few seconds and let me get this dissolved. And we're going to see, I, this, this batch should fill that up. And that way she'll have plenty. And I also sent her my recipe, but I just thought it would be nice to make this for her. Because I'm going to have to explain to her it's imperative that when you make this, you can't immediately serve it to the uh, hummingbirds. It must sit in the refrigerator overnight. So that's what I'm going to do for her. She's pretty excited. We're, we're going to be making a video together. And, um, but while we're, while we're getting the supplies that we need to make our video, she wants to stop and get a hummingbird feeder. And I just, she's just so much like her mom. It's crazy. All right. I do not feel any more granules, nor do I see any on my spatula and I do not feel them. So that's perfect. All right. Perfect. 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 Ooh, that is so hot. Okay. Let's see if I can do this very gently. Just go ahead and fill this baby up for her, and she'll have plenty of hummingbird nectar for her hummingbird feeder. How's everybody out there doing today? It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day today. Okay, that is just about perfect. There's just, just a tiny bit. I can just top it off. Be right back. Just grabbing some paper towel here. Now this is hot. I mean hot, hot. <laughs> so when you make this, be careful because you're going to have to use it while the water's hot because you've got to get those granules dissolved. Now, this is the perfect nectar for hummingbirds, and you're going to so enjoy making this yourself, putting it in your hummingbird feeder, and then just watching the magic. And they will be so grateful. Um, we used to live at another place. We used to live in Clemens, North Carolina, and I had a balcony. And I would make this for the hummingbirds, and there were times I would see them I would be in my grandchildren's room. My grandchildren's room overlooked the balcony. And the same hummingbirds would fly up to their window and say, Hey, we're out. 
And sure enough, I would go out there and the hummingbird feeder was completely empty. And I was like, okay, okay. And I'd run back in the kitchen and grab this jar and feed the hummingbirds. And they expected it. <laughs> they are just little, they're, they, they were just so wonderful to have as nature pets. And, um, I just enjoyed them so much. And, and Summer, my daughter, she witnessed that. My grandchildren witnessed it. My husband witnessed it. It was just quite magical. And they grew accustomed to coming back every year. And it was just, it was so, I don't, I don't know. It was just, it meant so much to me that I was feeding the birds like that. And, you know, if, if their uh, hummingbird feeder ran dry, they would literally come to the kids' bed bedroom window and fly, you know, they flutter their little wings and, you know, come to the window and look at me, and that's all they had to do, and they knew I'd come running for more. So I'm going to stick this in the fridge, and that's how you make hummingbird nectar. I hope you guys and gals go grab you a hummingbird feeder. Come home, make this. It's so inexpensive. It, you've already got everything you need in your home. The hummingbirds love it. You're going to love it, and the hummingbirds are going to love you for it. And I love you. Peace and love. Thank you so much for being here. You guys and gals are awesome. And don't forget how beautiful and special you really are. Love everybody. Bye-bye.